Bradley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Roethlisberger Steelers going up against Cars Raiders. With that, we'll get you out to Oakland. So we'll hand it over to our colleagues, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. We are here on a beautiful afternoon for football. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Oakland Raiders. Roethlisberger on first down. This is caught by Antonio Brown. He's on his way to another Pro Bowl season, Antonio Brown. And while he does not look like the prototypical number one receiver in the NFL, you know that description you have in your mind, that long, gangly guy who can go downfield and catch the ball? There is no one better at this moment. Antonio Brown breaks down defenses a variety of ways and makes big catches. Nine catches against the Jets. 37 now, league best on the year. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. On first and ten, it's Roethlisberger. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. There's no doubt about it, that's just one of the best connections in the league. Big Ben throwing it to Antonio Brown. And Antonio Brown has turned himself into such a player. A low-round draft pick, but you can't beat his determination or work ethic. And Big Ben welcomes that. And Big Ben won a Super Bowl at 23, youngest ever to do so, has never looked back. On your screen now, here are the offensive starters. At wideout, Antonio Brown is certainly someone that the defense always has to account for. Without a doubt, a true number one receiver, it doesn't matter to him how defenses want to cover him. He sees it as a challenge and knows how to defeat him. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it third and one. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. That one. Now whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Halfway there, down to the one-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. Trying to get it to Wheaton, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Reggie Nelson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, your first drive of the first quarter, you get it down there, try to fire it in the end zone, and big-time deflation on that play. No doubt about it. They're moving and grooving and getting into position, and this is not the ending that they saw on this drive, is it? They had things going their way. now as they run it to start the drive. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. As we get a glance at these starters, Michael Crabtree is the man we highlight at wide receiver. Phenomenal hands, so strong. When the ball gets to him, it just dies right there, and then he's able to do things with it after he catches it. throw on second down and he's got Cooper on the out route that's complete give him 12 yards on that one it earns him a fresh set of downs it's funny when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper and we mentioned eh, what if they play man coverage against you 
He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically <laughs> what he said, right? I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. Caught left side to Crabtree. And he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. That was a nice completion on an out route, and those types of plays are the result of arm strength by the quarterback and timing by the receiver. All right, here we go. Receiver. Receiver. Oh, baby, alert. Alert. Roberts, the man in motion. Hey, we're going rally. Rally. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is taken in at the five. It's a big play there for Oakland. 49 yards. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. All right, here we go. Say red 18. They'll try to run it in with Murray. Oh, he, and he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Latavius Murray taking it in from four yards out. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. <laughs> They go back to the air here after the INT. Steps away to his left. Wide open receiver complete. It's a pickup of 21. And it's good enough for a Pittsburgh first down. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. A good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. Fights off another. I think the second tackler would have learned from the first. Just in case you were wondering, Brandon, if Le'Veon Bell's a true three down back, of course you weren't. But how about this for numbers? 66 yards on the ground, 154 total yards from scrimmage because he had 88 through the air. Tell me what he can't do as a running back. I read a couple articles that with him back, they also put in some new plays, and that's what he does. He expands your offense all around. And he's able to get this one down to about the 40. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? Now bad hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Steeler football to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation.
They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Fourth down. Here's Roethlisberger. And this is caught on the sideline. But no, they'll say out of bounds. He caught it but was not in bounds. Incomplete. Well, well, we have a second after the incompletion. Tom Brady came back and in a big way this last week, didn't he? I know he's 39, but he played like he was 29, maybe even younger than that. And I had a chance to talk with him last year about his training and what he does. He really believes in his regimen. And he also thinks he's going to play well into his 40s. It looked like he could. 400 yards, three touchdowns in week five. Similar to a slant, it's all about timing when you're throwing a crossing route. Quarterback and receiver have to be in sync, and when they put it on them just right and catch it full speed, running through a defense, can often result in a big pickup of yardage. So they're operating in the red zone. We ready? Car turns, hands to Murray. And he's got this one down to the 10. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front Really well done. He was trying to hit Jameez Holawale, and it's third and short. Receivers work all the time on making sure they catch the ball, haul it into their bodies before they turn and run. A little bit of loss of focus on that play. We knew that that flag was coming. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run right after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. And it's a short kick. Taken right around the 19. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the run. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was. Now the Raiders are going to use another timeout here. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Roethlisberger will stay out there, and they're going to go for it on fourth. Brown, the lone receiver left. They'll indeed go for it with Roethlisberger. And he locates Wheaton complete. And he's brought down after a good game. A big connection on that one. 30 yards. We know it's tough enough to pick up first downs on third down plays, but when you go for it on fourth down, sometimes you're actually just praying and on that play, the prayer was answered. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing over the